Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and wanted to create this video in order to kind of help and give a little intro how uh, you actually check with the tool regularly your website to make sure it's online and if it's not online you can get SMS, text messages, email alerts and stuff like that. Really, really nice tool. Um, I just started using this probably about a week or two ago and just using the free trial and it's pretty nice. Um, I'm not, it, this website is not associated with me and there may be you know different tools better tools less better but uh, this is the one I want to use and it's been working pretty good so I wanted to create this video okay so uh, basically what you do is you go to nodeping.com and you can register with a free trial and then you basically log in so I'm gonna log in right now Okay, perfect. So it has a pretty simple dashboard, pretty simple design, nothing, nothing too serious. Um, here in the main section is where you have your websites to check. And what we're going to do is actually create a new checking so I can show you how to do it. And um, that's basically it. So yeah, pretty straightforward. So if you want to set up a new check, you're going to go right here to the area and just, call it, just click on new check. Okay, and you're going to call it a label that you're going to remember. So maybe something like my website, and then you know the name, for example. Okay, this is just a test. And <clears throat> under type, you're going to want to select the type of check, which port it's using, stuff like that. So uh, for a website, um, so you see, you have DNS, FTP, all that stuff, MySQL. Uh, but for a website check, the one I like to select here is HTTP content, and um, the reason I'm not doing just HTTP is I, I don't really care if I get a 200 uh, response code. Um, you know, that, that maybe I'll get a 200 response and the website is still not working correctly. So I really want to actually check that a specific word or a few terms were actually returned on the specific page that I'm looking for. So I'll give you an example. Okay, so let's say uh, I want to check that our homepage is. Um, is loading correctly so I just want to check that the word let's say uh, game it, it appears so you know if the page loads correctly and has a response code of 200 maybe there's some kind of server error or got hacked or something like that so if I check for the word game and you know it responds correctly I'll know that this full page actually appeared okay so I'm gonna go here and we're gonna select type HTTP content and enable check, of course, the description. Uh, don't really do that, but you can do that. Um, which region you want to check? Let's do North America, because most of our audience is from North America. The check frequency, um, let's set it to right now five minutes. Um, maybe one minute's a little too much, but it, that kind of depends on you. Okay. And the URL. So I'm going to type this in right here. Okay. And here's again. The, the actual term or the string that we're looking for. So contains or does not contain. Then I'm going to type in game and um, it is case sensitive. So make sure what you're doing, you can copy and paste. That's probably better. Okay, so you don't make any mistakes with case sensitivity. And then um, the default timeout between retries um, or is fine, no problem. Sensitivity, if there's an issue, how many times will it recheck? Uh, the default is fine. And then under notifications, you want to actually select the emails that you want to send a notification to. And then uh, send it when? Weekdays, weekends. Let's do all the time. And then let's select also Jeff. Okay, for an alert, all the time. And that's it. I'm going to click on save and click on OK. And that's it. So basically, it's here. We have it. If I want to edit it, I can just click here uh, or delete maybe or change something. So now we have it. I just want to give one more tip. Um, if you noticed right here on the editing, on the bottom, I selected who I want to actually notify. So for now, I've, we've, we've only done emails. But if you want to add more contacts, um, contacts or actually do SMS, which the SMS I haven't tried yet, just emails. What you're going to do is actually go here to contacts, this tab, and you're going to actually add some new ones. And you can do a mobile number and SMS, Twitter, and webhook. I haven't tried any of these 
uh, to be uh, truthful, just the email, but it works great. One of our sites, a clients that went down, it alerted us immediately and we took care of that. So I'm really happy with it. Uh, wondering if any of you have tried the SMS, and we'll probably try it in the future, but the emails work good. Um, and we also have alerts on our Google Apps Gmail, so no problem. That, that can send this automatic SMS as well. So uh, that's basically it. So hope you enjoyed this. We're going to actually get out of the free trial and pay for it. It's a good service. Thank you, NodePing, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.